Little House by the Sea by Benedict Blathwaite. Do you want to read it, Dee Dee? No, 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 come here, Dee Dee. Dee Dee, go lie. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Mama. Okay, shall we read Little House by the Sea by Benedict Blathwaite? Mama. Yes, let's. Mama. There's a nice map of the island. Isn't it? Go. Go. That's right. Can you see the go? Where's the go? Dee Dee. Where's the go? There's the house with his windows missing and his door missing. There's some sheep. Aren't there? Can you see any rabbits? No, no. So the little house belonged ah. to nobody. But mice lived snug and dry in the rough stone walls. Rabbits nibbled sweet weeds in the overgrown garden. Sheep sheltered from the rain in the doorway. Sparrows flew in and out of the broken windows and nested under the roof. A stray cat came to sleep in the fireplace. Hey, Dee Dee. Dee Dee, what's this? Ma. And that? This thing's on eBay, are they real? Tong. Tong, that's right. And Mummy started commenting off camera about eBay. Uh, I don't think that has anything to do with this house at the moment, but it may do come the end of the story. A lonely seagull liked to perch high on the chimney stack and look out to sea at the boat. One day a fisherman called Finn came to the little house and began to change <coughs> everything. And there's some um, diggers and a little seagull hiding under the dumper truck. That's what Dee Dee would point out if he was cooperating. Finn mended the roof and a new, made a new door. So the sheep are locked out, but he fitted new windows so the birds can't get in. He filled cracks in the wall with cement and weeded the garden. So the uh, mice and the rabbits are also inconvenienced. He lit a roaring fire in the fireplace. So the gull got blasted by smoke. He lived in the little house now, and as soon as the cement was hard and the paint had dried and the little house by the sea stood all new and bright and finished, Finn the fisherman set off to do some fishing. Because that's what fishermen do. He caught some fine lobsters in his lobster pots, and lots of slippery mackerel on a long fishing line. Then Finn picked up a group of holiday makers and took them on a boat trip. He showed the tourists some seals and a cave. And there's a legend about the cave that a giant called Fingal used to live there long ago. And he showed the, top, the tourists some puffins. Soon it was time for Finn to take the holiday makers back. Goodbye puffins, goodbye seals, goodbye holiday makers. Then Finn set off home to his brand new little house by the sea. But what about all the animals who lived there before him? Had they been forgotten? Did they live somewhere else now? No! When Finn got home, he gave the cat some milk. Ah! <coughs> oh. He fed the sparrows, and he's given them a little house to live in. He let the sheep shelter in his shed, and pretended not to see the naughty rabbits in his garden. And he didn't really mind that the mice had found a new way into his house, presumably through the open door. Even the seagull was happy. The little house by the sea had a place for everyone. And probably he connected it to the internet so he could access eBay there if he wanted to. The end.